2453 MG ZT. This is the 2.5 V6 petrol manual car showing 39,717 miles on the clock. So, really, really good mileage, good colours. Facelift one on the 53 plate. Lovely, lovely little thing. This 2.5 litre V6. Body width wise, we'll start off the bonnet, work our way around onto the interior, and then we're going to go for cool engine start up. Out the bonnet itself, lovely and straight, no dings, no dents. Lovely and tidy across the whole bonnet. Just a few little stone chips here and there. One tiny little outwards dent there. And the odd light surface scratch where it's been washed over the years, but it looks right for the year and it looks right for the mileage. Headlights are crack free on both sides. Nice and tidy on the left hand side there. No uh, scuffs or scrapes across the bumper corner as you come across the front bumper. Lovely and tidy there. No scuffs or scrapes on the right hand side either. All nice and tidy all the way across. As you come round and down the right hand side front wing, again no corrosion coming through. Alloys could do with a bit of a refurb there, but no corrosion coming through. Nice and tidy all the way around there. No dings, no dents, no rust anywhere. Up onto the roof, lovely and straight across the roof. One or two little bird poo mark here and there. You got a little tree sap mark, but again, not too bad at all. Wing mirror cap is crack free on both sides on the right hand side. Lovely and tidy down the driver's door with the only one or two little stone chips here and there. No heavy scratching around the handle. Tiny bit of lack of people towards the back and no big chunks out the back edge of the door, but a few little marks here and there. Coming down onto that driver's rear door again, nice and tidy across the door itself. No big chips out the back edge of the door. One or two little ones further down, but not bad at all. The odd little stone chip, but no big dings or dents once again. Lovely and straight down that whole right hand side, which you can't see there. Ripping our way backwards onto that rear arch. And around the rear wheel arch, no corrosion coming through. Lovely and tidy, no marks around the fuel filler cap. Like I say, it does want a wheel refill if you've been picky. Apart from that, lovely and straight down the whole right-hand side, all one shade of grey as well. But the corner itself is scuff-free. I've got a tiny little mark underneath the paint there on the rub strip itself, but it is scuff-free. And a little bit of a mark on the back of the rear quarter where it meets the light. The light is crack-free, nice and tidy across the rest of the bumper. As we come across there, we've got a little bit of a mark on the bumper there on the left-hand side, another mark there on the right-hand side with a little bit of dust in the paint here and there. The left-hand side bumper corner again, nice and scuff-free, no big marks. The rear light's lovely and clear as well on the left-hand side. A little bit of scratching around the boot lock there where people have been putting their the key in over the years, the key ring's been hitting off the bottom there, so there's a few little marks there, and apart from that, nice and tidy across the rest of that boot lid. No big dings and dents across the lid itself, all nice and straight. We're going our way round and down, around that left-hand side rear quarter again, lovely and tidy on the rear quarter, no big dings or dents. No rust coming through on the arch, once again, lovely and straight. And again, wheels want to refurb down this side as well. Onto that passenger left-hand door again, nice and tidy on the door. A little bit of a stone chip mark above the handle there. No big chips out the back edge of the door, no big dings or dents. Lovely and straight down that whole door on the left-hand side. Working forward onto the passenger front door and again, same condition again. Three little stone chips down the lower half. No rust coming through anywhere, no nasty, nasty marks. One or two little stone chips here and there, you can see that one there, in the middle of the door. One or two nasty stone chips, a bit of light scratching around the handle, but that's all to complain about really. A little bit of scratching to the window, which I've just noticed there as well. The windward cap once again is crack free on that left hand side and again the front wing being rust free once again but it's right for the year and it's right for the mileage good miles on this one no rust going through there which is nice to see on this mgzt onto the interior now door card itself is nice and tidy no sagging to the cloth a little bit but not bad at all normally hanging off by now a little bit of wear to the handle but again right for the year right for the mileage the seat itself a lovely and tidy up the center section there two little tiny nicks out the, out the side there Two tiny little marks on there. You can see that there on the insert swab. But apart from that, all nice and tidy. A little bit of wear to the steering wheel. Dials are nice and clear. Dashboard is uncracked all the way across. And as you come down the centre console, all nice and standard down there. We've got a Kenwood head, Ken, 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 I'll get my words out. Kenwood head unit fitted there. We've got some wear at the gear stick, but they always seem to do that for some reason. Headlining is starting to sag like most MGs. This is a Rover 75 shell, remember, so they do start to sag. Rear door card looks to be okay, a little bit of sagging on the cloth, but not bad at all. Nice and tidy across the rear seat with that fold down armrest doing its job as it should. Minimal wear really from the right hand side. Into the boot now, nice and tidy in the boot there. No complaints with that. A few little marks on the boot carpet, that's to be expected. Space saver spare wheel is in there as well. Left hand side rear again, door card's nice and tidy. 
Not too much bad sagging in the cloth. Normally around here, yeah, all the cloth's peeled off by now, but that's not the case with this one. And again, the seats are nice and tidy from the left-hand side rear seat there. So that's the passenger rear across to the right-hand side. The left-hand side front door card, a little bit more sagging on the cloth. Again, pretty standard on these. Not too much wear to the handle. No wear to the dashboard for the left-hand side and minimal wear really to that left-hand side front seat. That's in lovely condition with no rips or tears to the left-hand side front seat there. Trish is just opening the bottom. We're going to have a look at this 2.5 litre V6 engine. All nice and tidy in there. No complaints with that at all. Nice and clean. The plastic, oh, the battery cover's uncracked, which is pretty rare on one of these. Tristan's going to fire that in the knife for us. No complaints from that. No hesitation. Ticking over nice and smooth there on that 24 valve V6 engine. Five speed manual. Let's have a look at the dashboard there. Let's see the miles. Shows the miles, Tristan. 33, 39,717. And you can see all the pixels as well, which is another bonus on this. And there you have it, a lovely low mileage MGZT 2.5 V6 petrol, five speed manual in grey.